today's morning minute, your struggles cause you to develop. And in Exodus chapter 1, verse 12, we read, but the, the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more the Israelites multiplied and spread, and the more alarmed the Egyptians became. The struggles in slavery of the nation of Israel caused them to grow into a great nation. When Joseph brought his family into Egypt, they were only 70 people. However, the nation of Israel grew to more than 1.5 million people during the 400 years of slavery. God used slavery to teach and prepare a nation to go into the promised land. The nation of Israel learned to work hard. Through their suffering and oppression, they continued to multiply. Once a little boy was playing outdoors and found a fascinating caterpillar. caterpillar. He carefully picked it up and took it home to show his mother. He asked his mother if he could keep it. And she said he could if he would take care of it. The little boy got a large jar from his mother and, and put, in, put in plants to eat and a stick to climb on. Every day he watched the caterpillar and gave it new plants to eat. One day, the caterpillar climbed up the stick and started acting strangely. The boy worriedly called his mother, who understood that the caterpillar was creating a cocoon. The mother explained to the boy how the caterpillar was going through a metamorphosis to become a butterfly. The, the little boy was thrilled to hear about the changes his caterpillar would go through. He watched every day waiting for the butterfly to emerge. One day it happened. A small hole appeared in the cocoon, and the butterfly started to struggle to come out. At first the boy was excited, but soon he became concerned. The butterfly was struggling so hard to get out. It looked like it couldn't break free. It looked desperate. It looked like he was making no progress. The boy was so concerned, he decided to help. He got, he got some scissors, snipped the cocoon, and made the hole bigger, and the butterfly quickly emerged. As the butterfly came out, the boy was surprised. It had a swollen body uh, and small, shriveled wings. He, could, he continued to watch the butterfly, expecting at any moment the wings would dry out, enlarge and expand to support the swollen body. He thought that in time the body would shrink and the butterfly's wings would expand. But neither happened. The butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a swollen body and shriveled wings. The butterfly never was able to fly. As the boy tried to figure out what had gone wrong, his mother took him uh, to talk to a scientist about the, at the local college. He learned that the butterfly was supposed to struggle. In fact, the butterfly's struggle to push its way through the tiny opening of the cocoon pushes the fluid out of its body into the wings. Without the struggle, the butterfly would never, ever fly. The boy's good intentions hurt the butterfly forever. It is your struggles that cause you to develop. In Jesus Christ, we died with Christ, we rose with Christ. And the sufferings that we went through is all for the glory of God, that he rose from the dead, and we have life in Jesus Christ. He made us the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Walk in that victory that you have overcome the struggles in Christ Jesus in this life. Amen and amen.